Ben Tinkers and I want to share one of my current project what it is and, and hopefully get some insight from you on the, some of these details that, that uh, currently bugs me. So I'm working on connecting SAP PI with Swift Alliance Access using the, the SOAP protocol from SAA Swift Alliance Access, uh, which is a, a protocol that is not really compatible with, with PI. The, the main thing is you have to ask for, when you're delivering a message, you have to ask for a session, put the message, and then you have to close the session. And then when you want to deliver, uh, get a message from, from the SA, you have to uh, get a session, get a message, and process that message, see if there's some other message, and then close the session. So it's okay an approach for, for handling uh, messages. One, well, I had to develop the adapter because all other solutions seemed like they were not as intelligent and as stable because uh, doing a BPM that was running all the time handling these messages would be uh, a bit of a mess and be difficult to monitor. So that meant that the custom adapter was probably the, the best solution for making a good connection with the, the, the Swift Alliance Access server. The, um, this will share some of the, the insights that I got during that process. Uh, we're still developing on it and uh, in this development phase, I can see it's, I feel like Neo in, in Matrix is like, well, if we're getting this type of message and we have to do this, can we handle this in, in PI in an intelligent way? And in, in PI, things is a lot more difficult, but in SAA, it's, or in, in a custom adapter, you can almost bend the universe and figure out how to move it so things is working as they expect it to be. And that's really helpful in, in some perspectives because you don't have any limits. You can do whatever you want uh, to, to help make a better integration. The flip side of that is, well, the more of these kind of iterations you make, the more difficult the product is going to be to, to maintain and uh, develop on. Um, some of the other learnings is, uh, I've, I've got developing this adapter, I developed an adapter for a previous customer, and then uh, that customer spent a lot of time figuring out how to develop the, the set up the framework and how to deploy things, how to make the IAR file and stuff like that and making sure that these were, were deployable. Um, so when you're building the second app, you got this framework and you can just start developing on it and use it instantaneously. So starting from the, the sample adapter and the code I got from, from the other client, I was able to get an adapter up and running in a couple of days, uh, developing t on a test system, though, uh, where I just got the, this build that I could use and see how it was working. So in that perspective, everything was working just fine. Um, then I took some, some time getting getting system up and running so we could be able to deploy and test the solution and we're currently testing and figure out if the process is correct or if there's something we need to, to modify in, 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 this, uh, in this way and there's, there's a lot of box fixing, figuring out how to add all, all different kind of uh, functionality because you have the flexibility so why not use it to, to make sure that the PI development becomes as, as simple as possible and make it as easy for anyone watching to, to really see what's going on here. Um, so, so that's one of the, the things we are, we are dealing with. Um, and yeah, so in the beginning you, you 
can connect easily and make it work easily and then you have all these kind of correction making sure all the, the tiny bits work as they're supposed to be um, so that's uh, going well really good um, one of the the big issues that i really have about this is how do you support an adapter as a consultant obviously as a consultant you always like these kind of recurring jobs that you can always get a call uh, saying hey come fix this and we'll pay you some money kind of thing um, but on the other hand you want to deliver something that is not as much require as much as support and is easy for the client to maintain um, so i guess my question is if, if you're listening on this long do you, what kind of support issues do you normally see with your custom developed adapters is it just because you want to add new functionality or are they failing um, on the other client they finally used this adapter and was so seeing some different uh, tracing down some different things uh, that I was doing and there was some some things I'd not thought was giving an issue. I was opening, I was opening, testing if the, the MQ message was there, uh, MQQ was configured. So I was opening a connection and closing a connection, but apparently the MQ server didn't like that. So it just, they ex it didn't kill the connection because it expected a message on it. So that was one support issue I had on that one. I don't know what will be on, on this one, but do you see a lot of recurring support happening about extending the functionality of custom built adapters? So if you have any uh, suggestions on that, please share it in the comments below and I'll, I'll uh, be, be talk yeah, communicating with you around these things. So thanks for listening and goodbye.